Um, you know, just uh, as a group, you know, we're just sick about some of the the opportunities lost um, in this game, uh, offensively, defensively, um, special teams wise. You know, when you play when you play a good team in the NFL and um, and you have an opportunity to go really um, drive for drive to work ourselves back into a one score game. You know, we look at um, the first the opening drive. You know, the interception putting them into a, a favorable position for a score. Um, we look at the uh, the fake punt, you know, just like some of the opportunities that we threw down the field, all these close things. It just kind of leaves you with this with this uh, sick feeling of like what this game could have been. Um, and um, I know just, you know, we got right back to it, watch the film and we're attacking some of those areas. But um, and with that being said, to continue to see us take strides in our systems, take strides in our attack um, in the way that we're able to play team football and play together and really finish a game. So with a lot of positives, there's still all these things where we have to just grow the trust and the commitment to the fundamentals, the commitment to execution and um, for all of us involved. All right, thanks, Coach. Let's go to David Newton, followed by Mike Kay. Hey, Coach. Uh, I guess we got the news on Shaq Thompson's uh, season ending. I mean, you guys are taking a lot of hits on defense. How what does this one mean for this team? I'm just sick for Shaq, you know, a guy that really just cares so much. It plays with so much passion, um, a vocal leader, somebody who's had my back through this process as I get, you know, my feet underneath me as a first time head coach and to have the support of veteran guys like this, that, um, that stand for the right things. And, um, you know, people that I can, you know, talk to people that I can, um, ask to lead a charge for this thing or that thing that we're looking to get more of. So a guy that stood for all those things, um, Panthers football all the way through and through. So really just, um, personal. And then, of course, just he's a fantastic communicator and player. And so, um, again, just another another blow for us, but another great opportunity for Trev and for guys to step up and 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 to uh, show what they have and how they can help Panthers football. And can you give us an update on Josie? Uh, I know he left the game as well. Is, is he going to be OK for this week? Josie had a hamstring and a groin pop up. Um, so two things that he's going to be dealing with here for a couple of weeks. So we do not expect Josie to be up this week. Who are, we, who are you kind of looking at right now with Trevin to be better? Yeah, Claude Cherilis is going to have a great opportunity to play some football for us. You know, a guy that um, really saw, really took strides in camp and a guy that we're uh, definitely looking forward to seeing out there uh, to play football for he and Trevin to, you know, to start communicating and be able to work with the whole group. Thanks a lot, Coach. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dave. Sorry to hear about Shaq. Um Thanks, You've got a bunch of guys who are now eligible to come off their injury lists, Dane Jackson, Jonathan Brooks, uh, DJ Wadham, and so on. Can you uh, tell us what the progress is for those guys and if any of them will come off this week? Yeah, uh, expecting Dane, um, Jaden, uh, Ian Thomas to get out there, be back on the practice field. Um Gets, get a, a, a new set of eyes on these guys. Um, I love what it brings in terms of, we talk about competition all the time and I love what it brings to our group, just being able to get out there, play fast um, guys who are excited to get back to football. But again, they got to be out there. They got to handle the load. They got to, you know, still with all that time, you know, they haven't been on the field with us running our plays and all that. So um, this is, this is a great opportunity for those guys to, you know, to get rolling and for us to get a look at them. All right, let's go to Steve Reed, followed by Joe Person. Hey, Dave, I'm, I couldn't understand. Did you say um, uh, Jonathan Brooks? I was wondering if you can give us an update on him. They're still in the final stages. Um, you, again, they got some some hurdles that they got to jump before they get back out there on the practice field. So um, we the, we will not be opening the window up for DJ Wanham or for Jonathan Brooks this week, but these guys are in the final stages. Um, we expect another great week to stack on that, and then we'll let you know more when we have that. Hey, Dave. Uh, good to see you. Hey, Joe. I'm wondering um, what with the uh, the injuries to now two of your captains uh, and three counting Sam, what would be the process and might you consider having some sort of like not a revote, but an updated vote to get some injured guys uh, in a captaincy role? 
I think we're just depending on the guys that have been vocal, the guys that have that have stood for the principles of what we're about to step up in that role. Um, but again, just you know, as far as as far as you know, who goes out for the coin toss and all that, these are people that exemplify the things we're looking for um, for Panthers football. And then uh, beyond that, like it extends beyond these guys. These are guys who are recognized by their teammates. Um, but there's a whole group. There's a there's a huge group of a leadership council of a bunch of guys that have been around the league, um, that have been here. Um, um, that really represent what we're looking for. And wondered if uh, wonder if you might expand on Trevin and kind of what caught your all's eye on him in the scouting process and just what you've seen from him since he's gotten here. Big, fast, physical player. You could tell he just loves to play football, you know, even this year if, as he's been on special teams and the roles that we've given him on the defensive side, just flying around, making plays. Um, so a great opportunity for him to get in there, to communicate, to get the calls, and to be able to just get his feet on the ground and play football. So I'm really excited for him. Thanks. Yep. All right, let's go to Jeff Hawkins. Uh, greetings, Coach. Um, I just want to follow up on, uh, on on Wallace just for a second. Uh, uh, he's facing a big week of practice, a lot of pressure on him now. Um, is he ready to coach the defense? And the second question is, how would you rate Zavalia's uh, level of play uh, in for Lewis yes, yesterday? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to the challenges, looking forward to the the moments for Trevin to come in there um, and play the position that he knows how to play. Um, so I'm really excited for him, really excited for him to be able to contribute to this team and where we're headed. Um, Chandler did a fantastic job. He played, I thought he had a fantastic game, run game, pass game. Um, are there things to clean up? Absolutely. But we trusted him with all the calls. We trusted running at him, running away from him, um, taking shots down the field. And so he did a great job stepping in for d -Lou this week. All right, let's go back to David. Yeah, Coach, I, I understand that's a great opportunity for other players, um, but you guys have lost so much. I mean, there's a saturation point at some point with this defense. Just, I mean, how do you kind of hold all that together and, and expect to, to be able to compete? We're just taking that next step. We, we're, we're regarding the next opponent. It happens to be the Bears this week. Um, it's about our processes, and I see our football ascending. I see the, the principles, the scheme, and all those things taking steps. Every week, we've taken another step and another step. And as, are there things to clean up? Absolutely. But this is about the whole team. It's about the whole process. It's about our coaching staff communicating together, our players looking for what we're counting on from them. And so we just stay committed to that and just keep taking the next step. Let's have a great Monday. Let's get our eyes on these bears. Let's come back and have a great game plan tonight and tomorrow and put our guys in position to be successful, you know, and we'll look at our, our players. We'll look at how, as the faces change. So we become more of this or that based on what our guys can execute. And so that's really the challenge. David is moving forward. What, how can we put our guys in the best position to be successful? Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right, let's go to Vashti Hurt. Followed by Joe Person. Hi, Dave. Um, just curious what you saw from your pass rush and looking at tape and 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 your assessment of that. Yeah, great effort. Um, you know, Burrow was able to extend some plays. Um, would we love to continue to see that pass rush as they hone in on their skills and their tools? Absolutely. I feel like we have a good group of guys um, that can get that done. You know, it's it's it really comes down to fundamentals and execution of what is the rush plan? You know, what are we trying to execute? What are we trying to get done there? Um, and certainly, you know, there were some plays that got extended um, at different times, whether it was in the red zone or in the field, you know, that we'd love to see get the quarterback down. He's a fantastic quarterback. He made great plays and found people down the field. Um, so those things happen. But again, just an area that we got to continue to keep pushing, keep giving great effort. And that's what I expect. Dave, it looked like Shaq's injury was non-contact. Any thoughts that it might have been uh, the turf might have contributed? You know, honestly, I'm not an expert on turf, um, so I got to leave it up to that, you know, so I know that there's people on both sides um, looking at different surfaces. But, um, you know, for me, my, my expertise is the football part of it, and I'll continue to kind of stay focused on that. How did you, you know, how did you think it happened? Um, I wasn't sure. I wasn't really sure, you know, it's just, I know that these are high effort games and, you know, when you're exerting yourself all the time, these things just happen, you know? And then I, I was hoping you could clarify, um, 
Josie's going to be out at least this week and maybe longer. Yes. And then do you know yet when Shaq will undergo surgery? Soon as possible. They're still working on all that. Thank you. All right. Any more for coach? All right. Thanks, coach. All right. Thank you all.